I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Alec desk. This is the one here and it has storage part for your cable management or some other stuff with the two drawers. Let's do it. And you're getting one box with this IKEA Alex desk, useful tools, bigger and smaller electric scroll driver with a hammer and some knee pads if you're working on your knees for a long time. That's gonna save your knees. Free tip, put some cardboard on the floor if you have wooden floor so you're not gonna scratch your furniture or your... Let's open the box, manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video here. Just gonna open everything up quickly so you can see how much stuff you're getting but we're gonna go one by one through everything during the assembly one box with the screws one plastic bag with the screws and four runners for the drawers open it up and i like to organize everything what is in the bag so i know better what i'm working with we're gonna have one bigger and smaller locks we're gonna come to it later on this is all the stuff regarding the screws and all the things plus four rails for the drawers. Let's start with the drawer. This is the front panel, side panels, two of them, back panel, few screws, plastic plugs, wooden plugs and the locks, bottom panel. We're gonna start with those two screws and we're gonna place them in the front panel, one on each side. And we're gonna go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. Side panels, two wooden plugs, one for each side panel on one side. Now each of the side panels is gonna have those smaller locks and they have an arrow on one side and the arrow on the locks are gonna point to the front hole on the edge. That rule is gonna apply to all the locks, so arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole on the edge. Exactly the same for the second side panel. Now we can place them into the front panel so the gap on the side panel lining up with the gap on the front panel. Slide them in. Exactly the same on the other side. Gap on the side panel lining up with the gap on the front panel. Slide it in. Secure the connection by twisting the locks to the right side on both sides. Now bottom panel one side plain, one side white. At the bottom you have those cuts, At the top you're gonna have the corners, so the cuts coming in first and they're gonna go to the front panel, slide it all the way in till you're in the gap, you're gonna have the back panel, gap on the back panel, you're gonna line up with the bottom panel, slide it into the side panel, there is another gap there, and on the other side exactly the same, slide it into the other side panel. Now we're gonna place those plastic plugs two on each side and we're gonna secure them with the hammer. We're gonna do exactly the same on the other side, two plastic plugs, place them in. And that's how the drawer look like. We're gonna have two, I'm just gonna show you one because the second one is exactly the same. Put this white thing on the floor, you're gonna work with the top panel, one side is plain, one side is with the holes. You're gonna need those screws, six of them. It's gonna be two on each side, we go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. And we secure the screws. Two on each side and two on the middle. I put the white thing under the tabletop because even I'm on the cardboard but sometimes there is small debris and that can scratch the tabletop from the visible side which we're trying to avoid here. So if you have that in the box which was in this case with this IKEA Alex desk I put it under. So we have all the screws in, dividing panel, three holes on one side, four holes on the other side, positioned exactly the same as I'm gonna do it here. So you're gonna have this hole further from the side, this hole closer to the side. Arrow on the rail, gonna come to the closer hole here. So you have the first hole, close the rail completely, put it down and it's the first hole. You're gonna access it through this big hole on the top. Two small screws, place the screw in, in the first hole on the rail, closest to the arrow, the second one at the back through the big hole. Other side, we're gonna do exactly the same. Close the rail, rail complete, completely. Arrow at the front. 
place the arrow closest to the closer hole at the front two screws and secure it with the one screw at the front one screw at the back for the bigger holes wooden plugs two locks this is the bigger locks one two three four holes and we're gonna go with two inner holes with the wooden plugs so two secure them in on the side you have the big holes where the big locks coming in arrow pointing to the front hole on the edge push them all the way down one on one side and other one on the other side exactly the same arrow pointing to the front hole now we have the arrow here on this side so position it exactly the same as they're gonna do here so if you have all the panels the same just copy what i'm doing and you're gonna be fine slide it in once you're completely in secure the locks by twisting them to the right side now this is the top panel with the dividing panel in the middle now we're gonna have other frame we're gonna build these holes are closer to the side these holes are feathered from the side you're gonna have these rails with the arrow exactly the same as we have previously gonna come to the closer hole from the edge and is the first hole in the rail at this point the rail is completely close so we can access the first hole the front and at the back four screws two for each rail exactly the same as we did for the dividing one one screw in at the front one at the back securing the rail with the frame now we're gonna have this long back panel two holes on each side plane on the other side two holes on each small side long holes with the plain side and the colored without the holes position this way second part of the hinge gonna come in and there is the arrow which is gonna point to the colored edge place it in secure it with the two screws which they are already attached on these brackets to this second part of the hinge exactly the same on the other side arrow pointing to the colored edge and secure two screws now on the sides we're gonna have two wooden plugs which they come in in it's gonna be on a, each side secure them with the hammer position it this way so the holes at the bottom and connect it together so side panel with the back panel color part on one side plain part on the top push it all the way in and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side the holes gonna go at the bottom and connect with those two wooden plugs so now you have this u-shaped frame turn it upside down you're gonna have four wooden plugs it's gonna be two on each of the side panels secure them four locks two on each side arrow pointing to the front hole on the edge in this case arrow pointing up exactly the same on the other side two locks coming in now we can put it up and put the top panel we're gonna connect it with this u-shaped frame position it this way find the right holes and secure it together tap it in on one side and exactly the same on the other side once it's closed you can secure the connection by twisting two locks on one side and securing the two locks on the other side by twisting them to the right side you're gonna need those wooden plugs and they're gonna come in here two on each side panel and two on a long panel and two on the dividing panel now this is the bottom part of the desk you're gonna have those holes here it's gonna be less of them than on the other side so here you have much more holes so this part gonna go down so that's gonna be the connecting part so put it this way down and secure it together one side slowly find all the right holes tap it in once there is no gap you're gonna use those big screws and secure them in here in the bag you're gonna find the allen key if you want to work hard that's good but in our case you're gonna use electric scroll driver with the adjustable torque so you can adjust how hard you want to go on the screws never over overrun the screws like that easy peasy now I'm gonna put this up so I'm not gonna scratch the disc. Metal frame, one bigger part and two smaller parts. So we're gonna place that in, just simple slide it into the holes this way. Once you're in, just push it down. That's gonna lock the connection in place. That's gonna lock the leg in place. Exactly the same on the other side. This way, slide it in on the top. 
and at the bottom. Just push it down. That's gonna lock the that's gonna lock the leg in place. Now turn it upside down, and we're gonna put the last bar. You have this gap here, which is gonna come in, secure the frame on the middle. So just put it this way. Just lift the one side up, slide it in on one side, then on the other side slowly. It's gonna pop in and out. So just go one side, go back to the first side. Once you're in, find the all holes all around so you're lining up nicely one side on the other side we're going to use those long screws again so here is the time when you're going to appreciate you have electric screwdriver again in a moment so put two on each side and three on the long side and secure them in completely Once you're done, you can turn the table up, put it on the legs. Now we're going to have those two plastics for the covering the holes for the cable management, one on one side. Slide it in and push it down, just like that. And exactly the same on the other side. The cover for the hole for the cable management. Now we're going to have those two small panels, four wooden plugs, two for each panel on one side. Place them in, secure it with a hammer. One on one side, other one on the other side. They come in into those two holes, which they are inside in the in that storage space or the cable management space. So just place them in, find those two holes and slide them in. Once you're completely in, push it slightly under the tabletop. So half is under the tabletop, half is sticking out. So that's gonna support the tabletop on one side and hold the opening part on the other side. Exactly the same here, slide it into those two holes, push it down all the way and slide it under the tabletop, just halfway in. So it's supporting the tabletop and it's gonna be as a stopper for those, for the door or for the opening part, which we're gonna do next. One side, other side, nicely done. Now we're gonna do this part, this opening part. One side you have to with the holes, one side is plain, so we're gonna place two hinges in those two big holes. Two hinges, one on one side, other one on the other side. Slide them in. You're gonna need four screws, two for each hinge. Secure it, one, and secure the other one. Put it in, first hook it in on the top, and then clip it at the bottom so hook it on the top and just clip it at the bottom just push it in that's it exactly the same on the other side hook it in and clip it at the bottom now we can close it if we have an equal gap you're good if not you can adjust the hinge on the side you have two screws for the adjustment one in and out and one left and right so we have two small gap on one side Screwdriver not gonna come in there, but IKEA provide you with this funny screwdriver here, so you can adjust the uh, adjustable screws there and adjust your opening part the way you need. In our case, we're gonna need to open the gap slightly, so just get into this one, open it up. The bottom one is to adjust it left and right. This one is in and out. Close it. Once you're happy with the gap, all along. A little bit more. We are too far now. This is it. Nice gap. Let's have a look how it looks all along. Good. That's how I like it. So if you're happy, you can open it and close it comfortably. Now we're going to show you two ways how to put drawers in. So open the both rails and slide the drawer in this way. So slide it between the gaps on the rail. Push it all the way in the rails. So till the front panel like that. And then you're in the right position to put the locking screws. Exactly the same on the other side. Rail completely out. Locking screws coming in, one on each side. That's how you lock uh, the drawer with the rails. And other way is you can leave the rails in. Just slide the drawer in completely. Once you find the gaps, 
and just open it up the rail gonna pop out with the drawer as you're sliding out so just push the rail completely out to touch the front panel on one side and do exactly the same on the other side slide the rail completely out locking screws and secure it through the side panel to the rail on both sides now we can close it comfortably storage part and two drawers and this is it that's how we assemble ikea alex desk i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day